Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Santa Maria Goretti Parish. Let us pray the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray the Holy Rosary. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Luminous Mysteries The first mystery is the baptism of Jesus. We offer this mystery for all who are sick and suffering, especially those afflicted by COVID-19. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell, Amen. especially those in most need of your mercy. The second luminous mystery is the wedding feast at Cana. We offer this mystery for those serving in the front lines, medical workers, hospital and pharma staffs, security forces, supermarket and bank employees, the media, and also the leaders and servants in our church and our government. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, Jesus forgive us our sins, sins. Save, save us from the fires of hell, and, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The third luminous mystery is the proclamation of the kingdom of God. We offer this mystery for countries that are greatly affected by the COVID-19 crisis, especially our country, the Philippines. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The fourth, the fourth luminous mystery is the transfiguration. We offer this mystery for the protection of our families and loved ones from sickness, danger, and harm. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The fifth luminous mystery is the institution of the Holy Eucharist. We offer this mystery for the eternal repose of the souls of our dearly departed, especially those who had passed away because of this virus. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. Then after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation, grant we beseech you that meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. For the intentions of the Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Padre Pio, pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti, pray for us. Oratio Imperata for COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calunzot. Pray for us. Prayer to our patron, St. Mary Goretti. St. Mary Goretti, strengthened by God's grace, you did not hesitate, even at the age of 12, to sacrifice life itself to defend your virginal purity. Look graciously on the unhappy human race that has strayed far from the path of eternal salvation. Teach us all, especially our youth, the courage and promptness that will help us avoid anything that could offend Jesus. Obtain for me a great horror of sin, so that I may live a holy life on earth and win eternal glory in heaven. Amen. Amen. Please mention your petitions. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Saint Mary Goretti, our martyr of purity for love of Jesus sweet child of Mary Saint Mary Goretti our symbol of chastity beauty and innocence in heart and Body, Saint Mary Goretti, sweet child of self-sacrifice, heiress of heaven, model of love, Saint Mary Goretti, virgin and martyr, your strength of virtue from God Almighty. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to our celebration of the Holy Eucharist. We offer this Holy Mass for all who are celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries. For those who are sick, especially with COVID-19, for all those who are serving in the front lines, medical workers, hospital and pharma staff, security forces, supermarket and bank employees, OFWs and seafarers, teachers and school administrators, airline personnel, the media, and also the leaders and servants in our church and our government. Thanksgiving of our donors and sponsors and all other intentions offered in this Eucharistic celebration and for the eternal repose of the souls of our daily departed. Today we celebrate the solemnity of the Nativity of St. John the Baptist, our Mass Presider's Reverend Father Dave Concepcion. <laughs> Celebrate his love. Come to the table 
Enter His presence, feast with thanksgiving, and celebrate His love. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to participate in the sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Luwalhati sa Diyos sa kaitaasan Kaloob sa lupa ay kapayapaan Pinupuri ka at ipinagdarangal Sinasamba ka dahil sa nakila mong kalwalhatian Panginoon na migrosari ng langit Amang makapangyarihan Panginoon Anak ng Diyos, Cordero ng Ama Ikaw na nag-aalis sa mga kasalanan Na sanlibutan Tanggapin mo ang aming kahilingan Ikaw na naluluklok sa kanan ng Ama God who raised up St. John the Baptist to make ready a nation fit for Christ the Lord, give your people, we pray, the grace of spiritual joys and direct the hearts of all the faithful into the way of salvation and peace. Through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, coastland. Listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me. Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing, uselessly spent my strength. Yet my reward is with the Lord. My recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant 
from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him, and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. O Lord, you have probed me. You know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways you are familiar. I praise you for I am wonderfully made. Truly you have formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I give you thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. I praise you for I am wonderfully made. My soul also you know full well, nor was my frame unknown to you. When I was made in secret, when I was fashioned in the depths of the earth, I praise you for I am wonderfully made. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Paul said, God raised up David as king. Of him, God testified. I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man's descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel a Savior, Jesus. John heralded his coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. My brothers, sons of the family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God-fearing, to us this word of salvation has been sent. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. will be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord has shown his great mercy toward her, and they rejoiced 
with her. When they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were going to call him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, No, he will be called John. But they answered her, There is no one among your relatives who has this name. So they made signs asking his father what he wished him to be called. And he asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name. And all were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened, his tongue freed, and he spoke blessing God. Then fear came upon all their neighbors, and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart, saying, What then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord was with him. The child grew and became strong in spirit, and he was in the desert until the day of his manifestation to Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One time I was talking to a person, to a man. I did not know he is an ugly pian. And he said, My parents wants me to become a priest. Pinipilit ako ng aking mga magulang na ako'y maging pari. Of course, ako bilang pari, Sa loob-loob ko, gusto ko rin na maging pari yung kung sino man ang tinatawag na maging pari. Ano po? Pagkamisan, bukang bibig na yan. Pag nakakakita ka ng bata, magpari ka. Magpari ka. So, nung kausap ko at sabi, gusto ng mga magulang ko maging pari. Ano po? Di tahimik lang ako. And I wanted to support the desire of his parents. Kaya lang, kaya lang. Nung sabi ko, oh, bakit naman gusto ng mga magulang mo maging pari? Eh kasi sabi ng nanay ko, ang tatay mo pari. Ang lolo mo pari. Kaya magpari ka. Munti ka kung mahulog sa upuan ko. Sabi ko, paano? Paano ito lagi? Sabi ko, paano lagi tatay ang pari mo? Paano naging lolo ang pari mo? Yung pala ugly pa yan. Ano pa? <clears throat> Tradisyon. Ipasa mo. Kasi pari ang lahi natin kaya magpari ka. Ngayon, hindi ko alam kung napapansin nyo, hindi naman ganito kadalas. But we always celebrate the Feast of St. John the Baptist on June 24. Pinaliwanag ko yan kung bakit natin ginagawa ngayon. Kasi bukas, sacred heart. Ano po? Unang ipinagdiriwang ang sacred heart o mas mataas ang celebration kumpara sa St. John the Baptist. Ayaw naman natin iwaglit o isantabi yung celebration ng St. John the Baptist kaya pinorward maliban doon sa parokya ng kanilang patron ay St. John the Baptist. O anong problema? Sabi ng mga tao, kailan tayo magbabasaan? Yun ang tanong. Ngayon ba dapat yung basaan o bukas? ba? Ano ibig ko sabihin? Marami sa atin na iwan lang sa tradisyon at pag ginulo ang schedule, gulong-gulo tayo. Hindi natin naintindihan natin pananampalataya. Ano bang mahalaga? Ang pagdiriwang ng kapistahan ni St. John the Baptist o tayo ay magbasaan? Di po ba? Ano? Kasi yung iba, makabasa lang. Ha? Yun ang kanilang kaligayahan. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, 
ano ang meron sa buhay natin na hindi natin pinagtutuunan ng pansin kasi nakasanayan na natin ito. Bakit nabulabog ang pamilya, ang mga kapitbahay, ang mga kamag-anakan nila Sekeraya? Nung ipapangalan na nila sa anak nila na Sekeraya, wag, 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 dyan yan, dyan. Juan. Ha? Walang namang Juan sa inyo. Ang mga tradisyon, palagi ko anong pangalan ng ama. Walang Juan sa inyo. And God has broken the tradition. Ang Diyos ang nagbigay ng pangalan, Juan. Di po ba? Alam natin yun. That Elizabeth means God made a promise. That the name Zechariah means God remembers. Alam natin yun. Na ang mga pangalan noong unang panahon ay dahil yan talaga ang panawagan sa iyo ng Diyos. Ay tayo naman ngayon, pag, pag ano ang uso, tingnan nyo. Pag nagpabinyag, kung ano uso. Ha? Nung sumikat si Marimar, lahat ng bata Marimar. Ha? Sumikat ang COVID. Nako, pangalan ng mga bata, vaccine. Ano? Pati yung aso ko na binigay sa akin, ang pangalan, Nova. Ano po? Bakit po Nova? Kasi nung pinanganak yan, no? lahat ng mga pangalan, Nova box. Diba? Ano? Ha? 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 Sinovax. Lahat na lang, pati aso, pangalan, vaccine. Hindi tayo nagtatanong, ano ang purpose ng Diyos para sa akin? Binulabog ang pamilya. Bakit? Si Sekaraya ay lahi ng mga pari. Lahi sila ng mga pari. Pero si St. John the Baptist, ginawa ng Diyos na propeta. Magkaiba yun. Ano sabi ko sa inyo? A priest represent the people to God. But a prophet represent God to the people. Magkaibang magkaiba yun. Magkaibang magkaiba yun. The priests are so concerned with rites and rituals. The prophets are concerned with what the Lord wants to tell His people. Ang, ang sabi nga, pag pinag-aralan ninyo ang tradisyon, dahil ang pagiging Pari no unang panahon, they are so they are they are so secure, secure with their life because the people provided for them. Prophets are like beggars; they do not know when their next meal will come. Walang gusto maging propeta. Marami gusto maging pari. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, ano ang hamon sa araw na ito? Ano ang hamon? Ang unang pagbasa ay sinasabi, bago palang, bago palang ipanganak, alam na ng Diyos kung anong gusto niya sa iyo. Nawa ikaw ay maging liwanag sa mundong ito. Nawa ikaw ay maging liwanag sa mundong ito. Anong meron sa ikalawang pagbasa? ang mismong panawagan that you become the herald of God. Hindi ka lang liwanag, kundi talagang ikaw ang tagapagsalita, ikaw ang tagapagpaalala ng, ng Diyos sa, sa sambayanan. Pero ang pinakamaganda ay ano? Ang Salmo Responsorio. That you are wonderfully made. You are wonderfully made. The world cannot judge who you are, what you will become, because God has made you wonderfully. Katangi, tangi ka. Ikaw ay nilika hindi lamang dahil sundan at to pare ng isang tradisyon. Pero magandang tinatanong ng isang nilika, bakit kaya ako nilika ng Dios? Every person is created for a purpose. Every person is created for a purpose. 
Mahirap yung malapit na tayo mamatay, hindi malang natin na itanong. Bakit nga ba ako nilikha ng Diyos? Bakit nga ba ako ginawang pari ng Diyos? Bakit nga ba ako ginawang madre ng Diyos? Mga minamahal na mga kapatid. Kaya nga nung misan, nagagalit. Ha? Nagagalit, pa, nagagalit ako pa dahil palaging tinatanong, kailan ka mag-aasawa? Na hindi tinanong ng magulang, pinag-aasawa ba talaga ang anak mo? Hindi tayo nagtatanong. Bakit? Dependent tayo sa kung ano sasabihin ng ibang tao. Dapat dyan niya. Dapat sa karaya. Marunong ka pa sa Diyos. Marunong ka pa sa Diyos. Kaya marami sa atin, nakuha na natin lahat ng gusto natin, natutulog tayong malungkot at tulala, dahil alam nating kapush ang ating kasinuhan. Nakuha mo na lahat. You have all the money. You have all the things you dream of becoming. But you go to bed still wondering why I feel empty. Because we have failed to become who we ought to be. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, ang panawagan tungkol kay Juan ay panawagan sa ating lahat. And we will only be able to fulfill the purpose knowing that we are wonderfully made if we come before God in prayer. If we come before God in prayer and ask the Lord, Lord, I know I am wonderfully made regardless of what people are saying about me. But please help me know who I ought to be. Amen. Please all kneel. In this 23rd of the month, we ask the intercession of Padre Pio Petrocina. Dear God, you generously bless your servant, Saint Padre Pio Petrocina, with the gifts of the Spirit. You mark his body with the five wounds of Christ crucified as a powerful witness to the saving passion and death of your Son. Endowed with the gift of discernment, Saint Padre Pio labored endlessly in the confessional for the salvation of the souls. With reverence and intense devotion in the celebration of the Mass, he invited countless men and women to a greater union with Jesus Christ in the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. Through the intercession of Saint Padre Pio of Petrocina, we confidently beseech you to grant us the grace of. Let's spend few moments of silence. And I invite that you ask the Lord, you ask the Lord, not only of your petitions, not only of your needs, not only of your wants, but of the grace to know who you ought to be. Pray. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 
brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of yours and mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We place these offerings on your altar, O Lord, to celebrate with fitting honor the nativity of Him who both foretold the coming of the world's Savior and pointed them out when He came who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And we your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In his precursor, St. John the Baptist, we praise your great glory, for you consecrated him for a singular honor among those born of a woman. His birth brought great rejoicing, even in the womb he lived for joy at the coming of human salvation. He alone of all the prophets pointed out the Lamb of Redemption. And to make holy the flowing waters, he baptized the very author of baptism and was privileged to bear him supreme witness by the shedding of his blood. And so with all the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. <laughs> Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith.
as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, all the bishops and all the clergy. Father, please hear the prayers of your children gathered before your holy presence. Let's spend a few moments of silence. And I invite you, brothers and sisters, that you personally ask the Lord for a special grace you want to receive in this Eucharistic celebration. Ask the Lord. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse, with Saint John the Baptist, with the Blessed Apostles, with Santa Maria Goretti and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <laughs> prayers into one, let us now pray to the Father in the very words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Lord, we pray from every evil 
and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all unnecessary worries and distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Kindly look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace within our hearts, peace in our mind, peace in our own homes, in our own families, peace in our workplace, peace in our community, peace in our country and in the world, and grant unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now bless one another by giving each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. and sisters, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are invited here to receive him in holy communion. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. of it. 
force that sustains me, the unique. pray the prayer of Padre Pio Petrocina. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have you present so that I do not forget you. You know how I easily abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life and without you I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late in the days coming to a close, and life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way, and for that I need you. It is getting late and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptations, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers, I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustain me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it. But the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord. For it is you alone I look for, your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you. And ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Having feasted at the banquet of the heavenly Lamb, we pray, O Lord, that finding joy in the nativity of St. John the Baptist, your church may know as the author of her rebirth, the Christ whose coming John foretold, 
who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for our family. Dearest Father in heaven, bless our family and bless us with new beginnings. Smile upon our parents and surround our children with the soft mantle of your love. Teach every child of ours to follow in your footsteps and to live life in the ways of faith, hope, and charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kindly mention your intentions. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti, pray for us. Please rise. Perhaps many of you have heard about an actress who become a nun, a prominent football player, baseball player, people who have established a name in the society, entered the religious life. And when they were asked, why do you become religious, a nun, a priest, and one simple reason, they simply say, I have learned that I am created for this. Nilikha ako ng Diyos para dito. When you go home, try to think about this. Maybe you have forgotten that we were not born, we were not created to fulfill a tradition. We were created to fulfill a purpose. When life is not doing well, do not forget that you are wonderfully made. You are wonderfully made. Kung walang pupuri sa inyo, ikaw na lang. Tumingin ka sa salamin, sabihin mo, I'm wonderfully made. Pagkamisan, sadyang madamot ang mundo. But do not forget that. And many of you might ask, if I am wonderfully made, why is my life not that happy, not that successful? That is not the purpose of being wonderfully made. Even John the Baptist was beheaded. Diba? So, allow the Lord to surprise you. But many of us have forgotten this. I am created and I, want, I am wonderfully made. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita dulce do, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamus, exules filii heve. A te suspiramus, gementes et flentes. In hac lacrimarum vale, ea ergo advocata nostra, illus tuos misericordes oculos ad nos converte, et Iesu benedictum fructus. Nobis, posso exilium, o 
sostende O Clemens O Bia O Dulcis Virgo Maria Pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Ingat po palagi. God bless. Ito po muli si Father Dave sa ating Di po ba Father that we may become a better person today than yesterday. I hope you are well, doing well, getting well. Please stay well. Ano po? Sabi do sa mga messages kahapon, sabi nila, sana yung aming kura paro ko kasing saya ninyo. Ano po? Dahil daw sa Di po ba Father kahapon, sabi ko, Basta hindi ikaw ang, ang dahilan ng kanyang kalungkutan. Ay daming problema ngayon, kaya maraming malungkot. Ano po? Maraming malungkot. Huwag, huwag mo na lang dagdagan yung problema ni Father. Pero anong palagi ko sinasabi? Well, pag ikaw ba'y naging malungkot, nababawasan ba ngayong problema? Hindi naman. Kaya tama yung sabi sa awit, tawanan mo na lang ang iyong problema. Ano po? Do not worry about your worries. Anong tanong sa araw na ito? Ano po? Ang tanong ay, uh, kasalanan po ba? Yan. Kasalanan po ba? Nang isang hiwalay, Hiwalay sa asawa. Ibig sabihin may asawa yun. Pero hindi pa anal. Ano pa? Hindi pa anal. O siguro nagaantay ng decision for annulment. Ano pa? Kasalanan po ba ang isang may, ang isang hiwalay sa asawa na hindi pa anal na tumatang kilik ng manliligaw? Yeah, grabe. Ano pa? Tumatangkilik, ibig sabihin tumatanggap na ng sutor, lumalabas na, nagde-date na. Kasi ang sabi po niya, hindi daw yun kasalanan kasi wala pa namang nangyayari. We don't want to judge, but ano po yun? To avoid sin, para mas maliwanag, to avoid sin is to avoid the occasions that can lead you to sin. Yan ang sabi ni St. Ignatius of Loyola. To avoid sin is to avoid occasions that can lead you to sin. Hindi ka pwedeng, sabi nga, umiwas sa kasalanan na palagi mong inilalagay ang iyong sarili sa mga pagkakataon ng pagkakasala. No? Halimbawa, manginginom ka ay gusto mong, ako hindi na ako, nangangako ako na hindi na ako magiinom. Pero palagi kang may alak. Ay, you are in the occasion. Diba? Yung mga, ang kasalanan ay, ano, nagsaserve dyan sa computer, sa mga porn sites. Porn sites that lead them to sin. Ha? Deeper sins. Tapos palagi ka rin nando sa harapan ng computer. The, you put yourselves in the occasions that can lead you to sin. Ayaw mong manigarilyo, sabi mo, mag-give up na ako sa sigarilyo, pero palagi kang may hawak na sigarilyo. Ay, wala. Hindi ka makakalabas, hindi ka makakaalis sa pagkakasala. But if you put it, ano, quoting from the scripture, ano sabi ni St. Matthew? Ha? If you look a woman lustfully, if you look at a woman lustfully, you already committed adultery. 
Hindi mo pa ginagawa. Hindi mo pa ginagawa. You are already in the occasions. Then you are already committing adultery. So doon sa tanong, Father, kasalanan ba na tumatanggap ako ng manliligaw? Hindi pa ako anal? Well, alam mo na kung saan papunta yan. So, we do not judge, but you know where you are going. Pero syempre, as I always say, the only wrong we can correct are the wrongs we can accept. If you keep on saying, ah, hindi ako nagkakasala, hindi ako nagkakasala, ikaw yun. Di po ba, no? Ikaw yun. Ha? Pag sinasabi mong, ay, sorry ha, sorry. Yung, kasi itong palagi sinasabi. Yung, ay, at taba ako, taba ako. Magda-diet na talaga ako, magda-diet na talaga ako. Pero, palagi masarap yung ulam. Bukas na lang. Ay, wala talagang pupuntahan, hindi po ba? Na? Wala talagang pupuntahan, bukas na lang. Bukas na lang. Kasi yung bukas, hindi yung dumadating. Ipalagi ka nasa lamesa. Wala tayong magagawa. Ano po? Ay, pagkamisan, yung iba sa atin, parang mga gilingan eh. Alam mo yung mga gilingan, grind, ano? Basta may pagkain, talagang subo na subo eh. Ha? Eh, kaya nga sabi ni St. Thomas of Aquinas, eh, if you cannot discipline your palate, ha? you cannot discipline your soul. Depende kung ano ang issue natin sa buhay, anong issue natin sa buhay. Nung sinabi ba na St. Thomas yon? lean ba siya? Hindi. Abata ba nga na St. Thomas of Aquinas? Eh. Ang kwento nga, yung kanyang lamesa, may uka na gano'n, no? Bakit? Para pag siya'y kumain, pasok yung tiyan. Ano ko? Ganun siya. Struggle yun eh. May kanya-kanya tayong struggle. But if we keep on denying our own struggle, how can we go out from it? We don't want to judge. The question was asked, am I committing sin? Remember the words of the evangelist. If you look at a woman lustfully, you are already committing adultery. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, do not put yourselves in occasions that can lead you to sin. Because whether you like it or not, you will end up doing sin. Muli po si Father Dave sa ating di po ba, Father, that we may become a better person today than yesterday. God bless. Ingat po.